so guys boom this video right here i'm not even gonna lie bro this video right here this is one that i've been trying to make for the past year or two and i'm not even gonna lie you watching this video if you are sensitive don't even continue to watch this video because it honestly may make you mad this is my top 10 this is not espn's top 10 this is not 24 7's top 10 this is not your uncle across the street who'll be talking about how cold he was whenever he was 17 he could have went to state but he got hurt this is not his top 10 this is juice made hoops official top 10 players in high school currently right now regardless of the class guys right now right this second i want to know who is your top 10 players in the comment section down below maybe even top 10 because that's probably a lot of people i want to know give me your top three give me your top three to five players in the comment section right now i know a lot of you guys are always watching my videos but you're not subscribed it literally takes two seconds you enjoy high school college nba basketball content debates rumors you want to know the, hear the latest news make sure to smash that subscribe button it takes two seconds i want to know how much subscribers we can actually get from this video just tap the red button that's all i ask if you can do and with all that being said guys i don't want to make this video too long and let's break down my top 10 players in high school basketball right now so guys boom i'm not gonna lie this top 10 list was honestly one of the hardest things that I've ever had to make solely because there's a lot of top players in the country regardless of the class so if I miss some of these players I'm so sorry but starting off at number 10 I have to go with my guy Cooper Flag from the state of Maine guys I promise you I'm not crazy I understand he doesn't have the hype I understand he's from the state of Maine I don't know nobody that plays basketball from the state of Maine I understand that he just finished his freshman freshman year in high school but trust me Cooper Flag, he's definitely that guy he won the Gatorade player of the year in his state and he's also transferring to Montverde Academy in this coming season and he also led his team to win a state title as a freshman guys averaging 20 and 10 and 6 assists this dude is an all-around type of player I'm telling you I honestly feel like I generally think he has no weaknesses on the floor he just has to get better in every single area of the floor that's all he that's all he has to do he has no weaknesses i've talked to a lot of scouts i've talked to a lot of guys and they've actually kind of agreed with me on that sort of take his coach even said that cooper flag is a once in a generation type of talent here in man he's the best overall player offensively and defensively that he's ever coached his basketball iq and his maturity for a 15 year old is definitely just something truly amazing and guys like i said that 2025 class super underrated him Cameron Boozer, Koa Pete, that class right there is definitely not to be played with. I have to go with Cooper Flag at number 10. At number nine, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this one may some people may be surprised, some people, some people may be hating on me with this one, but this is my top 10. I have Mikey Williams at number nine. Like I said, some people are gonna be surprised, but I'm a Mikey believer. Guys, trust me, I know Mikey Williams has not played basketball or at least competitive basketball nationally or on the media in the last couple of months, but I promise you, I just think he's going to unleash a beast in this coming year, in his final year at San Ysidro. And don't be surprised if he ends up bringing a state title to San Ysidro next season. Guys, I love the skill set that Mikey has to offer. I mean, shooting guard that can definitely play the point guard position if needed. He can shoot the lights out. He's never averaged less than 20 points a game in his high school basketball career. And considering the competition that he plays against, considering that he has a national schedule, considering who he is, where every defender wants to freaking embarrass this man Mikey because they know the cameras are out and Mikey still is able to produce and he's not ducking no smoke. Guys, I gotta put Mikey Williams as a top 10 player. I don't care what nobody says. But guys, where would you guys actually rank Mikey Williams? So boom, at number eight, I have to go with my guy Kwame Evans from Montverde Academy. Another player that I feel like some people are gonna be surprised by, but it honestly shouldn't be. I mean, he's literally ranked as the second best player in the country according to ESPN. And I feel like you can clearly see the potential with the guy like Kwame Evans with his length and his skill set and just being that tall that lanky and the way that he can actually shoot the ball and make winning plays offensively and defensively guys i'm telling you i can honestly see kwame evans being a lottery pick in the 2024 nba draft he recently just committed to oregon and he's also going to be running it back on montford academy with cooper flag lee mcnilly and just the stack team that they have guys trust me kwame evans i'm definitely a huge fan 
Number seven, I have to go with my guy Ron Holland from Duncanville, Texas. Yes, I know he didn't have the most exciting Peach Jam Nike EYBL circuit or Nike Peach Jam as far as the numbers go. But I mean, during the season, whenever he was playing at Duncanville, I think he showed that he's definitely a top 10 player regardless of the class. I mean, leading them to a state title, making impactful winning plays during that actual game, playing great against Marvard Academy, and actually taking that team down as a regular public high school and just losing one game his entire year. And the only reason why they lost is because they didn't have their starting point guard, Anthony Black, who's probably gonna be a top 20 pick in next year's draft. Guys, I'm telling you, Ron Holland, he's definitely certified. He's a winner. He can do everything well on the floor. He arguably has the best motor that I've seen out of every single player on this top 10 list. I'm telling you, Ron Holland, he's definitely a certified NBA player. So boom, at number six, I have to go with my guy, Mackenzie McBacco. Guys, I'm a huge fan of Mackenzie. I mean, D-Rich has been telling me, he's been telling me that he should be the number one player. I'm not gonna lie, that's honestly a fair argument. I'ma just put him somewhere in the top five to top six. I think that's a good spot for him. I think that's pretty respectable. I mean, the last time we saw McKenzie was whenever he played against Robert Dillingham and CP3 in the Peach Jam, and he finished with about 20 points and eight rebounds. And I'm telling you, he definitely showed out at that game, and he showed why he actually should be in contention as being the best player. The way that he can shoot the ball, the way that he can score the ball in a multitude of ways, and he's not scared of the moment. He's not scared of pressure. He's gonna show up whenever it matters most. And I really do think that him transferring to Roselle Catholic to team up with Simeon Wilcher, another top point guard in the country, I definitely feel like that puts them both in contention as being one of the best overall duos in the entire high school scene. What do you guys think? At number five, guys, I gotta clap it up. I gotta clap. This is this is arguably one of my favorite players to watch. At number five, I gotta go with my guy Trey Johnson from Lake Highland High School in Dallas, Texas. Guys, I've been trying to tell y'all about this man, Trey Johnson. I honestly feel like I really don't have to say much about this kid. This kid is a straight up dog. I've seen him drop 30, 40. I be saying this every time I talk about him. I've seen him drop high numbers with great efficiency. Crazy shot creator, great feel for the game. Guys, he's definitely easily the number one player in that 2024 class. No debate. I've seen it with my own two eyes on multiple occasions. I'm just praying that this man, Trey Johnson, never transfers to another program. But guys, what do you guys actually think about Trey Johnson? I know he's not the most popular player on this list or just over on high school, but what do you guys think? I'm telling you, in the next couple years, you guys are going to be hearing about this dude, Trey Johnson, everywhere. Stamp that. Now, at number four, I have to go on my guy, Simeon Wilcher. The way that he was able to bring a state title to Roseau Catholic and actually beating DJ Wagner and Camden in the process, the way that he was awarded first team all Peach Jam in this latest Peach Jam, Nike Peach Jam tournament. Guys, making impactful plays with Gus Yaldin during the entire tournament. Exciting point guard going to UNC. Guys, I think skill wise, skill wise, he is unmatched whenever it comes to attacking the basket and getting to the line. If you just look at the numbers, this man is getting to the line at least five to 10 times a game. I'm a huge fan. I think UNC definitely got a good player with Simeon Wilcher. And I'm telling y'all, do not be surprised if he ends up being a top five player according to ESPN and all these other recruiting sites. <sighs> guys, I gotta rub my hands for this one. I don't know if you guys can hear me rubbing my hands right now, but I feel like this is where it gets kind of crazy. This is where it kind of can get a little wishy-washy. At number three, I know a lot of people may be surprised about this, but I actually have DJ Wagner as the third best player overall regardless of the class. It's Mr. DJ Wagner, but I'm not even gonna lie, I have to admit, the top three players in my opinion, I think it honestly changes every single day. So essentially all these guys are really number one, but DJ Wagner right now, I think he has to be, we already know the type of player that he is, dynamic combo guard that can pretty much score the ball and defend better than a lot of other guys in his same class. DJ Wagner, like I said, he's definitely still that dude and he's one of my favorite players to watch. I'm honestly excited for his senior year. I think it's gonna be a movie. But I feel like if DJ Wagner can just show a little bit more of his floor general abilities heading into his senior year, I'm telling you, he's gonna be a problem. So guys, at number two, like I said, this one honestly may be another surprise to a lot of people, but I have to go with my guy, Cameron Boozer from the state of Florida. Guys, overall as a player, overall as a player, stamp this right now. 
you have to put Cameron Boozer somewhere in the top three. I've seen it in person with my own eyes. I've seen him, he, this, this dude averaged 20 and 10 last year. He outplayed Cooper Flag and Jameer Jones. I've seen these with my own two eyes. You can just tell that he's the son of an NBA player with just his skill set and what he can do with the little things like the steps, the footworks, the screens, the post moves. This dude has everything in his bag. And I know you guys seen him freaking go crazy against Malik Beasley. And so I seen something on Ballers Life. This dude, Coot Cameron Boozer, and even his younger brother too. He's definitely like that as well. He's definitely gonna be a, a top player in the country as well, in my opinion. I think he's like number 22 or top 25 currently right now. But Cameron Boozer, I'm telling you, he's definitely like that as an overall player. You got, you have to, you have to put him as in, in somewhere in the top three. So guys, finally at number one, I got, I guys, I got to do it, man. I, I got, I got to put Robert Dillingham as the number one player currently right now on when am i recording this video on august 5th august 6th 2022 i got to put robert dillingham as the best player in the country currently right now i mean he was second team all nike eybl peach jam i gotta shout out his defense too whenever he was defending dj wagner in his game against the new jersey scholars last week two weeks ago I have to mention the way that he was playing at Donda Academy last year. He was easily the most consistent player on that team with all the ranked players that he was playing with and just even overall in the entire country. I think I feel like Robert Dillingham was definitely one of the more consistent players, definitely showing out every single game. And like I said, he's improving defensively. He's improving in areas that I feel like not a lot of people thought he can improve on, which is even like his athletic ability, which is he can, he's dunking on people now. He's getting to the basket with ease. You can't even guard this dude. Robert Dillingham overall, if he can just keep improving on his defense, I'm telling you, he's gonna be a lock to be the number one player overall in the entire country. And guys, like I said, I feel like it's just hard to deny him being a top three player in my personal opinion. But like I said, it, it just changes every single day with the top three, top five players. But guys, like I said, this is my personal list. There's a lot of other players in there that I feel like I have to mention, like a Justin Edwards, Mattis Bazilis, Isaiah Kohler, Kobe Walters, Koa Pete, Aaron Bradshaw. Guys, there's so many players. I know, trust me, there's so many players. Like I said, this was one of the hardest lists that it, it was just too hard to make, but I had to pick 10. These are my top 10 players currently right now as I'm making this video right now. But you watch this video, I wanna know your overall opinions about who do you personally feel like are the top 10 players currently in high school right now if you guys want a, a more individual class breakdown of top 10 players like top 10 in the 23 class 24 class 25 class each separate videos let me know down below as well made it to the end i appreciate you literally watching this video on a whole nother level i want you guys to comment below if you made it to the end do not forget to smash that like button if you enjoy videos like this subscribe to the channel smash the like button join the free discord down below if you guys want the latest on news basketball all that yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. It's been another episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.